What's going on everybody? This is Subohm Saint bringing you another review. This time I'm bringing it on an e-liquid called Fix. Yeah, that's right. Come get your fix so you can vape vape. All right. <laughs> that's enough of that. All right. This nicotine, the nicotine content in this juice is a 0, a 1.5, 3, 6, and a 12 milligram. This is all 75% VG, 25% PG e-liquid. They do come in 30 mils and 120 mils. The 30 mils is about 20 bucks. 120 mils is 60 bucks. Uh, I will leave a link in the description, even though I'll put the name right here on where you can get this. Great juice, guys. Great juice. I definitely recommend it. They do have an Instagram, a Facebook, and all that if you guys are interested. So, without further ado, let me go over one of these flavors for you. First one I'm going to cover is lemon cheese crank now this is pretty cool because it has the bottle has one it was made which is pretty cool which is pretty cool I, li I like that because I like knowing when my juice is made so I know whether I need to steep it for another couple days or a couple weeks or whatever all that good stuff anyways lemon cheese crank is a creamy cheesecake with a sweet lemon drizzle and a delectable graham cracker crust so sounds pretty good don't it so let me go ahead and drip some get some of that on my cotton oh gotta tell you guys i do have a 0.3 ohm build Vape it at 75 watts on this DNA or Vapor Shark DNA 200 watt Lush RDA by Watofo. Give her a whirl. You get great cloudage for this juice, even though it's like 75 EG. Pretty good. Pretty good. What I get is like a real lemon taste. It's like a real lemon. It's sweet. It's, it's even though a real lemon ain't sweet, but it's sweet on the inhale. Then you can start getting more of the lemony taste and then it'll tamper off to be like a smooth cream. It's, it's really good. And I don't even like lemon guys. I mean, I'm not even going to lie to you. I, I, I don't like lemon vapes. I just think it's kind of nasty. I just don't know. I mean, but that's subjective. So, but this now I can vape this all day, every day. It's, it's not that artificial lemon. It's not an artificial lemon flavor. It's more of a... I want to say it, it, it tastes real. I mean, it, it's, it tastes really like lemon. And they, it, they actually got this one spot on. All right, let's go on to the next one, which would be called Milky Shake. All right, now Milky Shake is a whirlwind of strawberry ice cream and milk blended. Fresh for you to enjoy. I don't know, it says made 10, 19, 2015. That ain't fresh. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead and put a little bit of drippage on here. Now, I got it sitting on the Rulo DNA 200. Yeah, nice wrap. Got it from J Wraps with the Saper RDA by Watofo. As you can tell, I'm a Watofo fan just because they're, they're affordable. Yeah, anyways, and they have great devices. I have a 0.47 ohm build, 75 watts. Definitely get more strawberry, like a real strawberry, and smooths off to kind of be like a yogurty smoothness. Um, if I could compare it to something, it would kind of be like uh, Milkman just a little bit, but it's not as sweet as Milkman. It is more, it's more subtle, more of a blended together. It's not just, it's not as sweet as it. So it's. This one is definitely good. This is definitely spot on. 
gotta admit, it is very good. I mean, you get that strawberry. It's weird because you get the strawberry on the exhale. On the inhale, you get that smooth creaminess. On the exhale, you get the strawberry. You do get a hint of the strawberry on the inhale, but it's just... You, you could taste it a little bit more on the out outskirts. Or, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Check out the clouds with this stuff, man. I'm telling you. Alright. I better stop before I cloud the room up here. Alright. Next one I got is Peach Cruiser. This one is personally my favorite. I happen to like peach cruiser. It is a sweet and ripe peach puree paired with a smooth vanilla yogurt. Go ahead and drop a little bit of drippage. Alright, I got it sitting on the Dual SX Box Mod Glacier V2 RDA. And it is a 0.34 ohm build at 65 watts. This is, this is really hard for me to describe. I mean, this one is one, um, you can't believe your taste buds unless you taste it. Now, it's, um, definitely peachy on the inhale. You do get that vanilla parfait yogurt kind of on the exhale. I mean... Definitely get the peach on the inhale and then it tampers off and then it's like immediately a vanilla parfait yogurt flavor and it's just, oh man, it is, this one is spot on also. I mean, I definitely, I mean, if you're going to try any of them and you like peach, yeah, get that one. That one's pretty good. And it's kind of like a... What kind of peach do I want to describe it as? It's kind of a sweet peach on the inhale. Kind of got a little tang to it at the about midway, and then it tampers off to be that smooth vanilla parfait flavor. Definitely an all-day vape. Now, last one is loop de loop. Now, this one here is, you know, favorite cereal blend. It's a spoonful of your favorite fruit cereal with ice cold milk. So, let me go ahead and put a little bit of drippage on my cotton. Drippage. Got the drippage. Got the drip, 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 drip. I got it sitting on top of the Hexone V2 with the Tugboat Slam Cap. My wattage is off on this thing, so I, I wouldn't even be able to tell you. It's probably like 70 watts. This one is a little hard for me. I mean, everybody knows what the cereal vapes are like. Sometimes you get overwhelmed with lemon. And I do get a little bit of overwhelming lemon, lemony taste and... It kind of don't take me back to my childhood. It t just makes me think of lemon. But, I mean, it is good. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not good. I'm not bashing it in no way here. But it is a little lemony for my liking. But, I mean, whenever... And it's got a little more of a throat hit than all the rest of them. All the rest of them are more of a smooth, nice, mellow vape. This one has more of a throat hit to it. More of a lemony. But it does have that uh, kind of a crunchy taste. If it, I don't know how to describe that kind of taste. It's it, it's definitely you can tell it's kind of a cereal vape, but it is a little bit lemony on on the front end. And uh, I would probably say this one would probably be like the best for like a tank for vaping in a tank mode here. Now I have tried all these juices in a tank. 
Usually, uh, I've been in a Smock TFV4 or the Heracles Plus by Sense, and all of these are act absolutely great. I mean, the flavor is good. It's not muted. It's they they stand out. It's definitely a tank juice you can use in tanks, and they're actually really really good. Uh, since it's a 75 VG, it's it's gonna wick really good. So it's not like it's gonna be like a max VG to where it's. Well, I mean, it, it kind of is, but I mean, it, I, I haven't had no wicking issues with it. Now, as far as like the popular UL Crown tank, now I would probably say these would work out pretty good in it. Now, I personally don't have my UL Crown around here and I haven't used it for quite some time, but I say all of these are great in tanks. I mean, I've used them all in the tank. They're great. They, I haven't had no wicking problems. The flavor is great. It's definitely cereally. I mean, you can definitely tell it's cereally. I wouldn't say it's like... I would say it's more like... Uh, more like Fruit Loops than like Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles is just... So <laughs> but anyways... Now, fruit, it's more of a fruit loop taste to it. It's definitely, I don't know, whenever I hit it, I think a toucan sand. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this. And I want to give a huge shout out for Fix E-Liquid for sending me this to review. I mean, thank you so much for the stickers. And thank you so much for bring, giving me all these juices for me to review. And... You guys just keep making great juice, and I definitely highly recommend these guys. I will leave a link in the description where you can get this juice, and I'll also leave a link in their uh, description to their Instagram and their Facebook, and I'll list all the specs down in the description also. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and you guys keep those coils wet with your fix so you can vape vape. Sorry, guys. I've had that in my head forever. See you guys next time.